Okay, give this one a try. I'll give you a hint. The hint is uh, x is less than zero. x is less than zero since x is going to minus infinity. So the square root of x squared is negative x. So I'll give that a try. And here comes the solution. So I factor x squared out of this expression and I get x squared leaving behind 1 minus 1 over x plus 7 over x squared all divided by 3x plus 7. Oh, close that bracket. Close that bracket now. Limit. Uh, okay, I'm doing lots of steps here. You don't have to do all these steps. But I'm trying to take it slow for educational purposes. Hey, voila. There's my root x squared. Okay, so root x squared is going to be negative x. You know, again, if you think about negative 7 squared, it's going to give me, you know, root 49, which is plus 7, which is the negative of negative 7. Anyways, just to justify this guy. So I get limit x. So it becomes plus x. Uh-huh. And downstairs, why don't I cross that out and factor out an x instead, just to speed things up a little bit here. Okay, now I can cancel my x's here. giving me limit 1 plus root all over 3 plus 7 over x. Okay, so now the whole point is that now my difficulty has been removed. My difficulty was, <clears throat> uh, let me go into infinity. Um, you know, one can check that this is infinity over infinity to begin with. Uh, looks like infinity over minus infinity. Hmm, let me think, think, think. Nope. Looks like it's minus infinity over minus infinity. In any case, I have a difficulty which I have removed at this step. So I can just evaluate this limit. It's 1 plus root 1 over 3 plus 0, which is 2 over 3. OK. Next example. There it is. OK, what to do with these? Lawns. Well, the only thing that I can think to do is to combine them and do a single lawn using lawn of A minus lawn of B gives me lawn of the division. Okay, so I had to do something because this was 
the original limit was of a form infinity minus infinity. Okay, that is a very strange thing. Okay, I do not know what's going to happen. It's not, not always going to be zero. Sometimes these will be zero. But literally anything is possible. You know, what I mean by that is that if I have a limit of the form infinity minus infinity, um, the answer could be literally anything. And what I mean by that is that you tell me a number, any number, and I can find a limit of the form infinity minus infinity that ends up equaling that number. Or if you tell me that you want something to be plus infinity, or you want something to be minus infinity, also, I can find a limit of this form that will give infinity or minus infinity. Anyways, so just trying to convince you that this form is very strange. Okay, but I think I've solved my problem here, or at least made some progress. <clears throat> now, if I do some kind of factoring and canceling, I think I will make further progress. So I use my trick where I look at the denominator, factor out the strongest thing in that denominator. So the strongest thing in this denominator is e to the x. I'm going to factor that out, factor that out of the top and the bottom. Uh, all kinds of brackets here. Okay. Now, what happened here? Well, I had e to the x plus 1, and then I divided by e to the x when I factored this out. You subtract the exponents, giving you e to the 1, which is what I have right here. Okay, where was I? Cancel, cancel. And now my difficulty, which here was infinity over infinity, is now gone. Difficulty removed. Happy, happy Jordan. Um, so now I can do my limit. Sorry about that. I'm going to get uh, just ln of e plus 0 over 1 plus 0. Since I hope you agree, e to the x in this scenario goes to infinity. So I get ln of e, which is 1. <clears throat>